do you sometimes lump together fitness and health? Do you kind of equate them as the same thing? If you're fit, you're healthy. If you're healthy, you're fit, vice versa. If so, I get it because that's easy to assume, right? But we're going to be talking about why that's not necessarily true. So strap in and get ready for episode 065. Let's go. I've always been that skinny guy. Why can't I gain muscle mass? What do I do in the gym? They said I'd always be skinny. This is your complete source for how to gain lean muscle and break out of your skinny body. From nutrition to getting the most out of your workouts and everything in between. We know just how frustrating gaining muscle mass can be. But don't worry, we've got you covered. You're listening to the Bones to Bulk Podcast. Hello, hello. My name is Brian Parody, and I will be your host today. And before we dive into today's episode, head on over to bonestobulk.com. If you haven't been there, I'm not sure what you're waiting for. Right on the homepage, you're going to see my free video workshop. Basically, what it is is I sit down with you, and I talk about a lot of things that I really wish I knew when I started because it would have saved me a lot of failures and misattempts. And it just would have been great to know. And I cover a lot of really good, solid information for um, starting off with your exercises, starting off with your eating habits, and a lot of common pitfalls that people fall into and that I myself fell into. So again, head on over to bonesofbulk.com, check out that workshop. It's free. Just You'll see it right there. Put in your email. It's delivered to your inbox. Easy peasy, right? All right, with that being said, let's dive into today's topic. So fitness and health, the same thing, right? Wrong. So it's easy to think if you're fit, you're healthy, or if you're healthy, you're fit. Well, it's not really true. So what do I mean by that? If you look at trends that have been happening in recent history, very recent, a lot of professional bodybuilders and other elite fitness people have been really struggling. Um, There's been several heart attacks And you think to yourself, well, if these people are so freaking healthy, why are they struggling with these issues? Now, I'm not going to say that you can't be fit and healthy and get sick and crap happens. Like sometimes that happens, absolutely, and sometimes that's unavoidable. But we really need to draw a line between the fitness realm of aesthetics, like the, the people that are getting up on stage and doing the these bodybuilding competitions and the difference between that and the difference between being healthy because they are two very different worlds. Sadly, we've, you know, created this fitness model that has to be so stringent and so on point that it forces people to do very unhealthy things to get to that stage from, you know, water dehydration to steroid use. Uh, Like there's so many different things. And, you know, fitness shouldn't be an unhealthy thing. But the fitness industry has become so unhealthy because we've we've taken it and we've turned it into a, a machine, really, that just keeps turning. And it's just, you know, look this way and look this way. And we've forgotten the other elements that come into play, which is the health aspect. And I don't want you to be deceived into thinking that just because you look amazing in the mirror that you're healthy on the inside, because often that isn't the case. As, as Again, as we've seen in recent history with some of these bodybuilders dying at such young ages. And so how do we reverse that trend? How do we shift our mindset from just thinking from an aesthetic standpoint? Well, it takes really evaluating what we're doing to our bodies and really stopping and thinking about it because often we can get in such a this diehard uh, run and gun attitude that we're just pumping iron and going hard and we're not really stopping to think about the long-term effects on our body. For example, things like mobility and flexibility, we don't often think about. We, When we think of weightlifting, we just think, oh, I need to lift X amount of weight. But often, a lot of these really huge bodybuilders, they have zero flexibility. Some of them have to have somebody else help put their clothes on for them or this is kind of gross, but wipe their butt. Like they can't do that stuff because they literally, I'm not joking on this stuff. They don't have the flexibility to do that. So what is, what's the sacrifice here? Is it worth looking that way to lose mobility, to lose proper functioning of your body? 
I want to encourage you to really sit down this week with pen and paper, with tablet, laptop, just with your own thoughts and think about it. Like think about what does health mean to you? Does it mean just looking good? Because that's not health. That's a byproduct of health at times, but that's not the end goal. That's not what it should look like. So what does health look like? Is it being healthy into your old age? Is it having energy and mobility and flexibility? Is it being able to, you know, finish a race, whatever it may be, you know, it's important that you understand what health means to you. And another subject I want to touch on is, you know, in the fitness realm, there's so much talk about bulking and, you know, bones to bulk. I'm all about bulking, but I'm about bulking in a healthy way, not the whole bulking, shredding, eat the hell whatever you want to eat half the year and then shred. Like that's not a healthy standard for our bodies, that yo-yo cycle. It's really important to think about that when in, we're thinking about our health and the food we put in our body. Because again, I, I've, I've talked with people time and again and they say, well, you know, I look great and I lift X amount of weight and I eat whatever the hell I want during the week. Like, okay, but that's going to have a long-term effect on you. You may not see it today. You may not see it tomorrow, but eventually it's going to have an effect. And is that effect going to be positive or negative? You have to take these things into consideration when you're talking about fitness and health. It's not to me, and you may think differently, and that's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. But in my mind, like, why do I want to be fit if my inside is not fit and not healthy and I feel like crap or in 20 years, I'm going to be struggling with all these health issues because of the way I've eaten or whatever it is. Like, why would I want to subject myself to that? Don't I want to be fit internally and externally as well as mentally? Like, all these things come into being. And to think that you can have one without the other, you're fooling yourself. You might have it for a time, but it's not going to last. It's not going to be this enduring thing that you have. So I really just want to encourage you to think about fitness, think about health, and really start asking more questions when it comes to it. Ask yourself why you're doing what you're doing. If you're doing something that you're even questioning or you're just doing it because you read it in a magazine or you saw it on some blog and it's like, y'all, if you want, you know, bulging muscles, do this or that, but really question like, what is this having me do? Does this make sense from a health perspective, does this make sense from a health perspective, not just a fitness perspective? Does this make sense for making me mentally strong, physically strong, and internally strong? Or am I getting one without the other? Is it a substitute? Like, you're going to get this, but you're not going to get this because that's not what you want. You want the all-inclusive package, which <laughs> is health all around. And the reason I think this is so important to bring up is because, again, it's become so much of a standard in the fitness realm. I'm not talking about the general public. I'm talking about in the fitness realm. It's become such a standard of so many unhealthy habits, especially when it comes to steroid use or what we're feeding our bodies. Like that stuff matters. You can't say that it doesn't matter because it does. And again, it may not matter today or tomorrow, but I promise you it's going to matter years down the road. So reevaluate, take some time to really consider. I really just, if nothing else that you pull out of this whole episode, I want you to pull out the fact of stop and think about things. If you've never read food labels, start reading the ingredients in it. If you're not sure what something is, Google it. You have the resources to figure stuff out. Use them to your advantage. Don't take it for granted that because something is marketed as healthy, that it is healthy. Do the research on your own. Read the label on the back. Look at the macros on it. it like It's important. This is your body. This is your life. Pay attention to some things. And that doesn't mean that you have to spend hours pouring over stuff, but just becoming aware of what's around you is so helpful. All right, I know we went a little deep today, and yes, today's episode is a little heavier than normal, but I... I just feel it's so important to really recognize that health and fitness are not necessarily the same thing, and we just have to be careful about 
all the information we take in. So with that being said, if you are on social media, check us out. We are on Facebook and Instagram at Bones to Bulk. We have an amazing tribe of people over on Facebook in our group. And just encouraging one another and challenging each other. It's if you're on there, you really want to get plugged into that group. So Facebook at Buds to Bulk. Also, I just want to let you know if you're struggling, if you're on the fence with things, you can overcome any obstacle that stands in your way. You've got this. 